like a dog. I do the most to get off on my leash. Yeah, I am. Right down, I'll pick back up. Yeah. All right down, I'll pick back up. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Jason Tatum is out there with Horford. Then there's Jalen Brown. Then there's Smart. And it's Williams at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Warriors, they've got Wiggins. He's out there with Draymond Green. Thompson is out there with Steph Curry. And it's Poole in at the two-guard position. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Smart with the ball. In the corner, Tatum with it. The pass to Horford. Four on the clock. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I'll tell you, it takes a lot to knock Al Horford off balance. He is incredible at keeping his concentration through contact. Smart against Curry. From past the arc. Rebound, Boston. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. You know, this is in part what makes Marcus Smart very dangerous, right? He can slice into the defense. He's got that remarkable speed to get where he wants. Now here's Curry. He kicks it to Thompson. From deep three-point range, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And it's Smart with the ball for Boston. Pass to Brown. At the elbow, Horford. It's rebounded by Poole. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Curry against Smart. Inside. Got a piece of it. And Poole gets it to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul.
Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. This is what superb defense is all about, guys. He read that all the way. For Boston, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Bounce pass from Smart. Here's Horford. To help the run. Well, that basket to me is all about energy. Al Horford bringing it every night. Outside Curry. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. No good with the triple. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Boston. They trail by one. Smart against Curry. Smart finds Tatum. Five to shoot. Brown outside. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Warriors have gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force them to the line. The Warriors shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. And some changes here for the Celtics. Williams comes in for Williams, and Brogdon subbed in for Smart. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Wasted no time on that one. Williams has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I did get a chance to catch up with the Warriors head coach. Hey, look, he knows they've got great shooters who can score from anywhere in distance. He thinks his team can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the league there. And he won't be pulling back the reins even if they start missing a few. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. Here's Poole. He has six. Let's the free fly. He's now two for three with that miss. Celtics leading by three. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Williams. Well, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touchdown low? Skilled at getting high percentage shots in the paint. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Poole. Passes to Green. Here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Brown. And the Warriors miss again. Boston's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Pass to Brogdon. And the three ball is good. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Warriors trail by eight. Here's Looney. Back to Thompson. Looking to end the run. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Thompson's got six points. Come on, Kev. That's almost unfair. This guy steps across the half-court line, and you've got to guard him from that spot. Kicks to Gallinari. Outside, Williams. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. We've got 33 seconds left here in the first quarter. It's stolen. 
Thompson in the post. Gallinari on him. Nice shot by Thompson. He's got eight. Listen, he's not going to limit himself to just long-range shooting. Clay Thompson uses his skill to get in the painted area as well. Brogdon against Curry. Now, here's Brogdon. Just five on the clock. From the top of the key, that one doesn't go. And so, both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Celtics lead by three. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. Now Curry. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Takes the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Celtics going the other way now. Now the pass to White. Fires the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors trail by three. Curry fires from way out. Oh! How does he even make that shot? What range on that shot? Oh, that's amazing. Guarded by Curry. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. He's guarded by Brogdon. Pass to Looney over Williams. The shot by Looney, no good. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Brogdon kicks to Gallinari. And here is Brogdon to the inside. Williams. And it's Williams with the jam. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Thompson after the basket by Boston. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Curry outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. And it's nine points for Steph Curry. The Celtics have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Passes it to Gallinari. He's covered by Thompson. There's the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Now, here's Brogdon. After the miss from Clay Thompson. Now, here's Brogdon. He's tightly guarded. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Timeout called the Warriors. the new group.
here in the second quarter. We've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Smart against Curry for three. The shot, no good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Tatum passes to Smart. Yes, that goes in. They are just killing them on the interior. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Golden State. It's a five-point game. On its way from Curry for two. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. I'll tell you, he's in a rhythm and playing with purpose. Great first quarter, even better in the second. Smart with the ball. Back to Horford. Great D that time from Green. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Curry looking around. It's good. This game is all even. Curry's got 14. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Smart on the wing. Covered by Wiggins. Smart finds Horford. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Six points for him. Well, you have to admire how Smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. Curry against Smart. And the wide-open shot from Green. And the Warriors take on two more. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Smart against Curry. Smart dishes to Horford. Pass to Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Shock up two there. I think there's a strength that belies that frame of Jason Tatum. He just powers right through right there. On its way from Curry for two. And the Warriors tack on two more. He has gotten into a great rhythm here in, in this quarter, playing with just bundles of confidence. Smart kicks to Tatum. Can't hit the step back jump shot. Golden State's gone three or five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Down low. Here's Wiggins. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. Thirty-four seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Poole. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Poked loose. Here's Wiggins. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jalen Brown. Well, Wiggins, one of those guys who draws fouls at an excellent rate. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Brown kicks to Horford. No good from outside. Got it up. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll return shortly. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Golden State's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're 6 of 15. On the floor for Boston. Horford is out there with Williams. Then there's Smart. Then there's Jason Tatum. 
And it's Brown in at the two spot. Stolen by Smart. It's stolen by Curry. And the turnover again by Golden State. Boston's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three-ball here. Smart, wide open, he fires. A three-pointer off the mark. Warriors shooting at 52% for the field. They're clicking. Here's Curry. He's got 16. On the wing, Thompson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Brown, the pass to Smart. About one minute played here in the second half. Back to Brown. Off target with his three. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Here's Poole. He's covered by Brown. It's Curry outside. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Now here's Brown. Pulls up. And the jumper falls for him. Well, Jalen Brown has quality handles now. Relentless on the attack when he's got the rock in his hands. Golden State's gone 1-2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Smart against Curry. Launches it. And another three for Golden State. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this time out. in for the Celtics. Williams is checked in for Robert Williams. Alinari comes in for Al Horford. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's wide in for Smart. Now, here is Gallinari. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Poole, the pass to Kerr. Another three for Golden State. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it, Greg? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And here is Brogdon after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. And the turnover again by Boston. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Golden State. Celtics making a switch here. Warriors leading by seven. Curry passes to DiVincenzo. to the middle the eight footer basket is good he'll get a chance for one more at the line oh wow four or five to start the half coming out on fire the Warriors getting their fifth free throw of the game here Kevon Looney is checked in for Curry second half of play and we're three minutes into the third here to the paint and stolen by Wiggins. Dolan are recovering. On the wing, Thompson. Cans it from downtown. Thompson's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. Oh, great ball movement there. Now a timeout called by Boston. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And the Warriors making a change here. Celtics trail by 13. 
Crowd didn't kick to Gallinari. Now, here's Brogdon. Tight defense on him. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Celtics ball. On defense, the Warriors. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Here's DiVincenzo. And it's Wiggins missing. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Here's DiVincenzo. Light covering. Even Shinzo gets the bucket. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Celtics trail by 15. 141 left to play here in the third. From deep, Gallinari. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Austin they're going to switch here. Rounds checked in. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up to the Boston Celtics. Down by 15. Now a timeout called by Boston. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Checked in for Golden State. Jermichael Green comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. White inside. by Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Celtics shooting their first free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And it's the Warriors ball. They're on a 17-4 run right now. Releases. It's deflected. Here's Looney. Golinari with the steal. Rod in against Curry. And Looney sends it back. And he recovers it. Here's Golinari. On the money from 12 feet away. Gallinari's got his first points of the game. Warriors leading by 11. Outside, Green. Ball's knocked loose. Gallinari with the steal. Here's Brown. Second chance shot, and the layup is good. Well, can we remember Jalen Brown's got a seven-foot wingspan? That's an easy second chance opportunity. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. White against Curry. Three-pointer. The rebound by the Celtics. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Well, it's amazing, Greg. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. And the turnover again by Golden State. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Nine seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Now, here's Tatum. From deep. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. 
the Warriors on top, leading by seven. And we'll be back with you right after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Celtics trail by seven. They've got Curry. Green is out there with Looney. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Poole in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now here's Smart. There's the pass to Brown. Inside. Here's Williams. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's going to be... on Andrew Wiggins. Huge upside as a rebounder. Williams with the wingspan, the attitude, the toughness. This guy could be elite. One shot. That one misses for Williams. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Well, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. Here's Rooney. And Curry has it in the corner. That three off the mark. Celtics trail by five. Brown inside. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Curry with a wide open look. Buries the long range jumper. Curry's got 28. When a player is in his range, as soon as he steps across the half court line, that's almost impossible to check. Welcome, Mr. Curry, to the three party. Tatum's shot is off. Warriors leading by eight. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. And they pick up two. And Kevin, Jalen Brown thrives when it comes to scoring through contact. This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. All time to just let them get their legs back under them. The Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Hey, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed the team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Now, here's Brown after the miss from Stephen Curry. Brown finds Smart. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket from Tatum. This guy is skilled at getting the shot he wants inside. Jason Tatum with the size and touch to be efficient. And it's sent back by Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Warriors. And stolen by Horford. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Smart. The kick out to Brown. Jacks up a three. And he's good on the three ball. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Curry. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. 
the dish to Green. And again, no good by Golden State. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Brown, good. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Curry against Smart. Pass to DiVincenzo. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Here's Smart, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Boy, I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive, he's intelligent, and he doesn't mind getting under your skin. Timeout called the Warriors. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second-chance points. Warriors trail by five. Wiggins surveying the floor. Over Horford. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Now plenty of energy left for key situations. The young Andrew Wiggins determined. Smart kicks to Tatum. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. The Warriors gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Celtics leading by five. The kick out to Brown. Back to Tatum. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's an Jason Tatum to the free throw line. That one on Thompson. And that one misses. You get the sense that Jason Tatum has a drive to be great. This is a young player who doesn't lack for confidence. I love watching him play. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Now, here's Brown. Beyond the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He kicks to Curry. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got six rebounds in the game. Smart passes to Horford. Back to Smart. Right side Tatum. Horford in the post. Passes it to Tatum. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Some great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Now here's Tatum. Goes back up. Great D that time from Green. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Brown. And here's Boston. They're on a 19-7 run. Tatum against Green. Now here's Tatum. He's guarded closely. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Tatum. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Big shot maker Wiggins poised in the clutch. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point vision. And 
so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. A two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by five. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul. Curry fires from way outside. Count it! And he has brought them to within two points. Nobody you want taking that shot more than Steph Curry. What a pressure player. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. How exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. And George Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Now a timeout called by Boston. Here's Tatum. Pass to Smart. From deep. Oh, it's off the mark. And we're going to overtime. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We've got more... And now we get set for overtime in what has been. A stirring contest. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Green. Thompson is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Curry. And it's Poole in at the shooting guard. Now here's Williams. He dishes it to Tatum. Back to Williams. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Williams has got the first basket here in overtime for the Celtics. Curry against Smart. Outside Curry. At the elbow, Green. Over Williams. Green, no luck. The Celtics with the lead. Smart deciding where to go with it. Brogdon outside. Back to Smart. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And one action in this one. We're about one minute into overtime. Curry finds Green. Williams with the block. Now the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Here's Smart. From the left block, he sends it through. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. 
Kevin, how about the poise of Marcus Smart under duress? Delivers a big time shot. Williams with the block. Curry against Smart to the inside. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're leading by four. 131 left in overtime. Austin laden by four. Down low. Here's Williams. And it's Williams throwing it down. Well, you can tell there's a team first mentality with the young gun Jason Tatum working to find the open teammate. Nice. Curry against Smart. Let's go. The shot by Curry. No good. For Boston, they've gone three for five for their shot since we got started here in overtime. Williams in the post, covered by Wiggins. Williams kicks to Brogdon. Shot clock at six. They double him with Wiggins. The kick out to Tatum. Over Thompson. They get it back. Green with the block. Simply cannot throw up that weak stuff around Draymond Green. You'll hear about it. He will relish the opportunity to send it back. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside, trying to get something going. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Now sometimes Wiggins better off when he doesn't have to put the ball on the deck. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're ahead by three. 26 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Jalen Brown struck in for the Suckers. Now, Tatum. Thompson comes with the double team. Here's Horford. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. Here's Curry with the three. He's off on that one. So we see Boston get the win here. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. They yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. And, and this win has to feel satisfying. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.
I'm like a dog. I do the muscle get up.